I'm Tommy Roldan. I'm in the class of 2023. Uh, I play outfield left-handed pitcher. I'm currently at the Georgetown Prep High School, and I'm committed to the University of Virginia. And this is the day of my life. Okay, so when I first started playing baseball, I was probably like um, five or six years old. Started with t-ball. My mom was actually my coach, not my dad, which is pretty different for most kids. Um, my dad sort of took control around like when I was six years old. I would say what kind of I sort of leaned towards baseball because I was always just it's sort of natural talent like where where it took me, and I, I like been I, it's for me it just fit like I could work hard at it work hard in it. Um, yeah, I would say six years old. Yeah, my mom, my mom sort of pushed me into it, my dad kept me in it, and here I am now. So I picked UVA because, I mean, it's, for me, there's a lot of the good schools talking to me. I, I'm thankful for every, each and every one. But UVA is just perfect distance, you know. My parents can come down on weekends. I can go home for a little bit. Uh, facilities are beautiful. Coaches are awesome. It's just everything. I love the colors, love everything. So for UVA, I mean, all of it started pretty early for me. Um, with UVA, uh, saw me a couple times playing in North Carolina. Uh, after that, you know, we had a few phone calls. I went down to a camp, and and then you know things things kept going, and they gave me an offer, and I accepted it. I think it's pretty pretty much that. It was qu pretty quick. It was uh, early in my freshman year, but I knew it was the right place, and I think they they knew I was, I was for there too. I think yeah, for sure. Uh, I, there's definitely pressure to perform well, but I mean, I love it. I love being a guy. I mean, we got a couple D1 guys on my team, but it's fun, you know. I like. I've always accepted, you know, that type of pressure, and I think being that guy is something like I, I want to be. I'd rather rather have the pressure on me than not have it on me because that way there's more than one thing holding me accountable. But yeah, I, I think there definitely is pressure on on the Division One guys for sure. My greatest strength is probably um, getting into a good routine and getting and having good work ethic. You know, I've had always worked hard. That's something I pride, sort of pride myself on. Um, that's the easiest thing that you can do is put in the work. I think one of my weaknesses is probably managing time. I do I do put in a lot of work, but 
sometimes I'll go to bed late, not get a lot of sleep, and that's been affecting me recently. So managing time is pretty tough, but you know, it's high school and I got a lot of card classes, but yeah, and that's pretty much it. There's definitely more than one weakness, that's just the first one that comes to mind. All right, so number one favorite player, got to go with Bryce Harper. I just love the, he's always he's always got that swag, you know. One of my favorite players. I think number two, Max Scherzer, just like psychopath on the mound. That's something I like, you know. I like being on the mound, you know, I'm there. And number three, I guess tough. You know, I've always been an Orioles fan, so I've sort of always followed Manny Machado, and I just love how smooth. I know a lot of people don't like him, you know, not hustling and all that, but I think deep down he's, he's a good guy, and. I love the, he's smooth, you know, got a, he's got a sweet swing, you know, definitely a third favorite player for me. Any game day superstitions or rituals? So I'd say it's not really a big one, but it's pretty important to me is before every game, at least morning games, I always go to McDonald's to get two sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits. Uh, it's always worked for me, so yeah. So my first, my, my best baseball memory has got to be my first home run. Uh, I think I was like seven years old playing an 8U for kid pitch. Um, the fields weren't big at all, but you know, it's still the first home run. No, no, no better feeling, couldn't help. Like jogging around second base, huge smile, couldn't hold it back at all. My dad was the first base coach, so he's waving me through, so it's it pretty cool, pretty cool, yeah. What is your walk-up song currently and why? All right, so I've got Raph by ASAP Mob. It started at eight seconds. I just, I love the, I mean, at first I just picked it because I thought it sounded cool, but now it's sort of like growing on to me. Like I'll play it in the car and I'll just get in that, that frame of mind. Like, all right, I'm here to hit or something like that. But it, it fires me up for sure. I think it originally came out of nowhere. I heard it like this would be a sick walk-up song and then it grew on me and now I can't hit it, hit anything else. My mindset walking to the plate to hit has got to be just do damage. I think be on time with fastballs. I mean, a lot of times in high school ball, I see a lot of curveballs, but summer ball, I see a lot of fastballs. So my mindset is, all right, be ready to attack a fastball, be on time, 
and I think my bad really starts in the batter's in the uh, on deck circle, just you know getting my breathing right. So get some breathing right, get some breathing in, walk into the walk into the box and just hunt fastballs. All right, for uncommitted guys, I would say you know keep developing, keep working. I think. As your game gets better, you'll know whether or not you're ready to play Division One baseball, and just keep getting yourself out there. Go to as many tournaments as you can. If you're if you think you're ready for it, you think your game shows it, I'd go to college camps, get in front of guys. Um, just keep working, keep developing your game. You get better, and people will notice. I think that's the main main, main thing. So we started out on the, in the cages, got some T-work in, got to warm up, got on the field, took some on-field BP off this machine. Uh, then we went and stretched out a little bit, did some band work, threw before I pitched, got on the mound, threw a little bullpen there. Uh, that's a day in my life.